Justin Conway, Moran Marmotons, Bailey Griffith in lane five, Rachel Miller in lane six from Lakeside, who has a pair of runners, and then uh, Satana's Alex Howie getting set to go here. Let's listen in for the gun. Off to a good start is Tori Poe from Court Norwich. Osborne's Affin Conway. She's got the lead moment. She's in lane four. It's Conway and Poe. Conway with 40 meters to go trying to hold on. And it looks like uh, Afton Conway from Osborne has won it. Mountain Ridge is Jima O'Quinn and Katie Fiedler also both from McPherson County. So well represented in lanes four and lane five. As we get set, listen for the gun. Off good start. Valley Heights, Kayla Smith in lane two gets off to a good run. But off in lane four is Mountain Ridge is Jima O'Quinn. O'Quinn takes charge of it. So Blitz letting Greason trying to chase, but it's going to be Mound Ridge. Jima O'Quinn in lane four from Mound Ridge is going to win it. She's just a junior, and she's how close this 3A race is. This is really going to be tight. Gasman in the blocks, off to a good start. She has the lead early on, but Slayton Brown from uh, Norton Community chasing her. Lauren Carlson at Council Grove in lane five, but out of lane four, Mercedes Gasman. Gasman trying to put on the gas toward the finish, and the young lady, the senior at a Garden Plain, wins gold in the girls' 100 meter dash. And <laughs> took a look at, at starting out of lane number six. She is the freshman as they settle in here, and the fans go from cheering for the high jump to getting quiet to listen for the starters gun, as will we. Good start, lane four. McPherson's Emma Ruddle takes charge early. She's 30 meters in and still has the lead, getting a charge from Samantha Van Hoke in lane five between Ruddle. 30 meters to go, and here comes Von Hoke. Van Hoke, and at the finish, Emma Ruddle and Van Hoke got shoulder to shoulder. Ruddle was, if this race were 60 meters, she'd have won it going away. And indeed, the Bullpups, sophomore, has another gold medal. There'll be a new record holder in 2018. Well, the wind has been down under two meters per second pretty much all day long, and uh, it really doesn't look like it's going to be any more than that. Anderson and Simmons, part of that record-winning Newton relay team against Erica Lister from Leavenworth. Great start by Lister from the Pioneers. Winter Ramos, her teammates in lane six for lane four. Leavenworth, Lister. Lister's out in front, leads the two Newton runners, and at the finish line it's going to be from Leavenworth. Erica Lister wins with Newton's Callie Anderson right behind her and Savannah Simmons. Hertzberg from Wichita East, who has plenty of experience. Back in 1983, Tissa Johnson from Great Bend ran an 11.8. That record's held up for a while. It would have just been broken by Erica Lister, where Lister in 6A. Good start. Now, Destiny Ray at a lane five. She's got the lead for the moment, though. Kendra Waite trying to chase her down. It is lane five, Destiny Ray. Ray, with here comes Kendra Waite. Late push. Waite's in the lead. And it looks like Kendra Waite out of Gardner Edgerton. The freshman is going to win gold in the girls' 100 meter dash in class 6A. We wait for the final results. Watch the state championships over the years. Uh, this unusual to run from right to left or from the south to the north, but that is the case. They've been running that since the beginning of the state high school championships. Good start out of lane three. Darian Holloway out of Osborne. South Grace, Craig Griebel takes the lead. And now lane four in the middle. It's Lane Peters out of Scandia Pike Valley. And Peters trying to hold off the challenge to win gold. Lane Peters out of Scandia Pike Valley claims the gold medal holding off Craig Griebel. And a second of Drew Blake. He'll start in lane five. And then Nathan Miller and the rest of the field looking to try to surprise to see what we can come up with in class 2A. Terrific start from lane five. That's Devin Barron from Stanton County. She takes an early lead, but lane four is Ellen with Drew Blake as he explodes off the line and takes control. But look out. Here comes Devin Barron's. Barron's at the finish. Looks like he got the win. Devin Barron's out of Stanton County, who was just a tenth of a second behind Ellen with Drew Blake, actually had the lead in the early going. Drew Blake rallied to take the lead, at least temporarily. Parker Roth just beat Petrie from Norton in the prelims. They were shoulder to shoulder. And there you see him lining up in lanes two and three. And then, of course, you're looking at Johnson and Shippers in lanes five and six. Parker Roth in lane four out of Heston in the red. Tevin Petrie in lane three. Norton Community gets a good start, but in lane four, Heston's Roth Parker. Parker Roth. Parker Roth trying to hold off Petrie. It's Roth and Petrie, Petrie to the finish, and Petrie may have gotten him. Tevin Petrie of Norton Community. Got a surge in the last 20 meters. We'll wait for the results. It is up to the lean. Heston's Parker Roth was right there. And we'll see who won, who wins this thing. This is going to be a close. This is going to be within one 100s 
And it's going to be Petrie. Petrie, the gold. Roth from Heston gets second. And the distance between the two runners, one one hundredth of a second. Finals here. Very capable of meddling and challenging Timothy Lambert. We will see. You know, Jaden Price, you got to think, uh, from Mulvane has to be the dark horse in this race, or at least one of the favorites. Can't really call him a dark horse, but Timothy Lambert has just shown uh, that he is untouchable at the moment. Out to an early burst of lane for Timothy Lambert from Smoky Valley. Jaden Price from Mulvane chasing. It's Lambert at the moment with Price right behind him at the finish line. Timothy Lambert from Smoky Valley in Lindsburg is going to win the boys 100 meter dash in class 4A as he will edge Jaden Price. But Lambert wins a gold medal, uh, one of many that no saving himself from now. This is the real deal. Well, you're looking at most of this first heat uh, in the prelims are making up this final. Look at Torres, uh, Perry is also in there. Wilson is also in there. So they are making up a, a large portion of this uh, 5A race. Bill Sr. from Eisenhower, Kwame Perry gets off to a good start and also in lane two, Valley Center's Larry Wilson. Wilson now charged from behind comes Dusty Torres. Torres in lane four trying to hold out Marnoff from Wichita Carroll and it's gonna be Dusty Torres. Torres from Liberal, the senior pulled up. who came up in 11 really pulls up at the end of the and pulled a hamstring. Dusty she Torres wins gold but he may be hurt but the boys 100 meter dash in class 5A Goes to Dusty Torres. I hope he's okay for Liberal. He's got some races to run. Junction City, the Blue Jays have the runners in lane two and seven, and Blue Valley North representing the Kansas City area in lane eight. Let's listen in for the starters gun. This is going to be a heck of a race. Let's listen in. Good start, lane three, ne Nevin, Teb, Loden, Deron Dudley, here's Wally McGee. McGee trying to sprint away from a big shot south, Deron Dudley, Dudley in the lead, trying to hold off McGee, and it's gonna be Deron Dudley from Wichita South, the junior, who will get his fellow City League rival, Ollie McGee of Wichita Southeast. Dudley wins it, McGee is second, and Dudley, who wears that symbolic headband, he is celebrating at the moment with teammates from Wichita South as he wins gold in the boys' 100-meter dash in Class 6A.